Well, you know, the F-35 is uh, the most technologically advanced airplane in the world today, and the Bravo variant of it, specifically for the Marine Corps, can not only can it go supersonic and carry advanced weapons uh, with an advanced sensor suite, it can land on a ship that carries Marines as well. Um, and so for the Marine Corps, now the Marines can take the most advanced fighter into combat, supporting the Marines um, wherever they need to go. My job is to make the F-35B the most lethal platform on the planet. The F-35 Bravo is going to replace uh, the F-18 Hornet, it'll replace the AV-8B and the EA-6B Prowler. So it's going to replace three fixed-wing assets for the Marine Corps, and it's going to encompass all of those roles. And it's going to take some of those roles, like the F-18 and the EA-6, that could not previously um, be directly attached to the MU on the MU ships and put them on the MU ships with it. So the F-35 is a multi-role fighter, so I can essentially provide uh, any mission set with this aircraft, and it was designed from the bottom up to be able to do that. It's not specifically an attack aircraft or specifically a fighter aircraft. It's designed to be multi-role. This is the most lethal aircraft that's been made so far. It is very, very advanced. For the Marine Corps, the F-35B is a perfect fit. I mean, the, uh, the A is good for the Air Force, the C is good for the Navy. But for the Marine Corps, the B gives us the capability to take a fifth generation fighter and attach it to Marines in combat, to go wherever they go. We don't need a land base, we don't need tankers, we don't need um, we don't need the Navy's big deck carrier. We can take our ships, we can take our Marines, and we can go wherever we want to go, and we can take a fifth-generation fighter aircraft with us.